The following video you are about to watch contains adult language. Probably didn't need to say that, but I, I will, because just in case someone is bothered by that. Tacos. This is a story all about how Ichigo is sitting on my lock screen, my thing that I wanted for the video joke. Intro thing that I talked about last week still ain't here. Oh yeah, but Ichigo looks real good, uh-huh. Am I even in frame? I don't know. I recorded Hina today as well, and I... That doesn't look right. It looks like half my head's gone, and which is entirely possible. If it is, I'm sorry. That wasn't the intention. Blame this fucking camera. Um, yeah, your boy's, your boy's salty. He's, he's been getting in all the rants. He's been getting into phone camera rants. He's been getting into people who dislike spam my videos rants. He's been getting into... It should go best girl rants. I need that fucking Nendroid to come out. Nendoroid. Nen. Nendoodle bop. I need whatever it is, and I want it in my life. I got one of them. And I need another of the best girls. I got one best girl. I need so many more, because there's many a best girl in the world. I need. I need. I, I got Holo, I need an Ichigo, I need a Nanami from Sakura So, I need a fucking uh, Himako Inaba from fucking Kokoro Connect, I need probably a Zero Two after the last episode, holy fucking damn, um, which I do know exists. Tomorrow. Um, what is that even? What are we talking about? Point is, I need those things in my life, so you should buy them for me. Just, just, just... I know that I don't have a P.O. box. You should just take them, purchase them, and throw them in a direction and hope it lands on my front doorstep. I, that's, this is my, don't do that. They're, they're that's like a waste of 50 bucks. That's, it's a real bad, you're going to break them. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, hey, hi-ho, and howdy, boys, girls, and Klaxosaurs, all of those three different things, perhaps some sort of mutant hybrid and or whatever the fuck Zero Two is, which is, I, perhaps we'll learn as we go along. I'm still a little, I, I just don't understand half of what's going on in the show, but you know what, that's okay, because I still fucking love it. Um, you know, to drop the jokes for a second, uh, holy fucking shit. Um, you know, I mentioned I was gonna do potentially a, uh, ending thoughts video about the last episode, and then I didn't because... I literally had nothing I could fucking say. I I don't know what I can say other than I fucking loved it. It was it's honestly one of the single best episodes of television I think I have ever watched. It was so fucking well done that I literally don't know what to fucking say about it. Um yeah, here's what I can say. Hero as a youngster is great. He's he's my man and I'm hoping now that we're back on track and into the future worlds which also means the present. Shut up. Um, <laughs> now that we're back here, hopefully, uh, uh, and he's got his memories back, hopefully we can get a little bit more progress. We can see more of young hero bleeding into this older hero, and we can see come together. Hopefully, Zero Two stops trying to eat my boy because she was all sad and cry at the end, and that hurts, but, it's, but hopefully that means she's, you know, in a better way. It's very difficult to be in a better way if you're crying. Um, but she, again, she wasn't eating him and his mind, which is cool. Um, uh, Ichigo, I'm pretty sure Delphinium got her fucking arm torn off at the end of the last episode. So that's not great. I bet you that hurts like a motherfucker. Baby girl, I'm sorry. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Stop it, Bixby, you fuck. Get, get off. No, okay. Point it. <laughs> I got a new phone recently, and it's still t it's taking a very long time to get used to, and the camera can fuck itself. Um, if you don't know what I mean, just watch ReZero for last week. You'll understand fully fucking what I mean. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, you know, so that happened. Uh, we also got to see my boy giving off names to everybody. That was great. It was adorable. We got to see my, my bestie just chilling there on the ground with her rabbit person, and it was great. And I love her. Always and forever. As long as they don't do something horrible to her character, please 
please don't do that. I I had to I had to look at the light novels for Sakura so recently, and I I I can't deal with that shit again. Um, point is, <sighs> emotions. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we that all happened. Uh, we got to see the whole experience of Hero in Zero Two. Uh, sorry, Ete, uh, meet. Oh my gosh, she's fucking adorable and perfect. Um, yeah, no, I, like I, I make a lot of jokes about Best Girl here and there, and it's, it's stupid. It's, it's childish and it's silly. But holy fucking shit, the last episode took Zero Two, who's slowly been building up to like, I really like this character a lot, and I, I make a lot of jokes at her fucking expense. I'm sorry, by my goddamn nose. Um, at her expense. Uh, because I fucking love Ichigo so much. Um, but I can't do it anymore. She's so fucking perfect. As an adult, she's great. As a child, she's a goddamn angel that deserves to be loved in every possible way, except for the creepy ways. Chris, I'm on your side with this one. Come on now. I know that it must exist out there on the internet. I'm not saying anyone should look it up. You definitely shouldn't, because you're gonna prison immediately. Um, I'm just saying I know it exists. And we don't want that here. This is not... I'm agreeing with you, Chris. Um, point <laughs> point is... Uh, this intro is going to be a little long. Um, point is, she's fucking great. And uh, um, this show is now officially incapable of having a best girl. And only capable of having best girls. Um, uh, a duo. A perfect pair, if you will. The red and blue. Um... <laughs> of of is is uh, it's it's the ash and garrett no it doesn't work it doesn't work that way at all the point is uh it's two sides to the same coin of perfect zero two it should go you gotta have them both or you'll get nowhere in life um ow um yeah so they're both best girl um as for just the thing itself you know it was a very Oh my god, it was a very emotionally impactful episode. Uh, at that point in the in the channel, I'd, I'd never had anything hit me quite that hard. Just full-on tears and emotions, and it, it really got me. It got me before it was supposed to get me, and then it got me some more. Um, and if, if A Place Further didn't come out literally the day after, or whatever, um, It would have been the worst <laughs> when it comes to emotions. But then that show had to immediately go, Oh, you thought you cried at Darling of the Franks episode 13. Cool. I'm going to rip your soul out of you and beat it to death. Um, it's a great episode. You should watch that show as well. It's fucking perfect. Um, point is, last week was an emotional roller coaster. My thoughts on it are as follows. It was great. Um, but now we're on episode 14. Where do we go from here? Fuck if I know. Really don't. I have the slightest hints of certain ways that it's eventually going to have to go down, but that's all I really got. And other than that, I got nothing. So we're going to watch the episode. We're going to fucking love it. This is Darling of the Franks episode 14, Punishment and Confection Ovens. That's incorrect, you say. Punishment and Confectioner's Sugar. Also incorrect, you say. Punishment and contraceptives, um, also incorrect. Confession, oh. I mean, some of those might fit into that same general idea. Confe confession may lead to a need for confection or sugar if you're making, like, a wedding cake. May need lead to contraceptives. We're gonna move on. I... Uh, three, two, one... Go. Oh, the tree again. And little zero two. How am I gonna cry today? Asking the real questions. You you God damn. Yeah, no, it straight up took her fucking arm off. Damn. Curious how that affects Ichigo. Hopefully in a not horrible way. I really don't like Sad Zero Two. 
Also, it's in it's crazy seeing seeing Zero Two. Like not confident at all. Like seeing her like with an actual full on sign of weakness and not just like an angry sign, but Um, yeah, no, um, well, we're back to, uh, the show where I don't know what to say 98% of the time, so, uh, expect a lot of just this face. That's multiple different faces. Also, I got that straight up jaw quiver on that. Did you see that? It was awful. Um, so one of the reasons I'm glad you got that tiny little screen that ain't HD is shit or nothing, because otherwise you just see every every teardrop reach out of my eyeball. It just. <laughs> fucking love this show. I like um I've said it many times now but this the whole reaction blind commentary thing has been one of the most fulfilling fucking um experiences I've ever had when it comes to just doing this kind of thing cuz it it's really cool cuz not only do number one I get to meet and talk to you guys. I've gotten to meet some insanely fucking dope human beings as far as I know. Um because of it all, um, and I've gotten to experience some of the best, like, television I've ever fucking seen, it's just been fucking amazing, and I got to have a cool time doing it, and cry like a bitch, that's not good, is it, I would imagine, Which is not good. Oh yeah, and I imagine she's fucking taking it very poorly. Because, you know, it definitely seemed like she didn't understand that it was really him or anything like that until he said it. Her arm is fucked up. <sighs> Baby girl. Like, I know you're upset. I get it. I super, super get it, but... I don't know if yelling is the way to help the situation. Imagine that shit's not gonna help her feel any better. God damn.
Oh, I thought that was the shadow from earlier. That was not. That was... Homegirl fucked him up. Boy, gotta get you a scarf. And I think we gotta we gotta work with her. We can't just throw her out. Cause I know you care. One of the reasons I love you so goddamn much, but I just feel like there's gotta be better ways. Oh. Uh, that's absolute bullshit. Um, Naomi. See how much better it is when she's smiley? I like smiley zero too. I like smiley everybody. Can we always be smiley? I need me some slice of life spinoff with the... We go like to a cultural festival maybe and... The camera just fell over, so that's cool. Um, apologize for that. <laughs> Fuck. I'm really glad I caught that, because otherwise I'd be pissed. <sighs> hey, Muffin. Oh, are they finally moving? The Grand Crevaz. Yeah. Or the Grand Crevaz. The Nines. You see, the, every time they mention the Grand Crevasse, the, the the first thing that immediately jumps to my mind is because it, it's assuming it's it's like a a future Earth situation. The first thing I would assume is like the Grand Canyon, but I don't know if that's accurate. So still not a. Girl is just getting fucked over constantly now. Not that I don't imagine it's kind of been something that's been happening probably her entire life, if that beginning bit was to say anything. 
I notice Goro keeps avoiding this as much as possible, it seems. Hey, you good to get up, my boy? Sup, Miku? It's so weird seeing her so, like, not even, like, because you've seen her, like, angry, violently upset before, but just kind of broken upset is not, oh, your arm seems to be better. You got hands that work. Who don't love an apple? Didn't bring no caramel though. Fucking up, my girl. <sighs> I don't think he hates you. He might be a little upset or sad about it, but. Still been like his best friend forever, so. Yeah. It's kind of a the thing that you do. I was gonna rip my soul out. You can't, yeah, so I'm just about to say. Also, thank God for having restraint with that shot, because. A lesser show very easily would have had her legs be a little wider spread than that. It's fucking adorable. Clumsy, clumsy people is, is cute. That's why they both start with the letter C. I don't want to talk through any of the crazy stuff, but I just, I wanted to say that, uh, as depressing as it is, I, I really like the, the way they stylize some of that stuff with younger, um, Zero Two. Like, uh, when we first see her in the last episode, and it's, uh, and there's the, um, the, the, the caretaker person who was, gave her the book or whatever in the beginning, like, just... Those are put together really well that I really like. Uh, okay. If we could not do that, that'd be awesome. I know you're mad. But please don't do my boy like that. I really don't like it when you two fight. I really don't like that.
sneaky bastard. Jesus. I really like it if you didn't. Them's are getting even bigger, aren't they? Fucked y'all up.
Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> so, that was episode uh, 14 of Darling in the Franks, Punishment and Confession, also known as... Zero Two breaks my heart with every single thing that comes out of her mouth and that she does with her hands and fist and face and everything. And Ichigo is breaking my heart in every possible way because she's making decisions which I think aren't the greatest and I understand them, but it's not the greatest decision. And then that which makes me want to die because... She's fucked. Yeah. God damn my emotions, man. The show is fucking brutal. It's that's the thing too, is cause it's it's it takes something I couldn't care less about, generally speaking. It's a mech fighting thing. But that barely even kind of matters. It's just like a little bit of a tool thrown in every once in a while to show off the the real strength, which is the characters and their emotional conflicts and shit. Which are fucking brutal at every goddamn opportunity because the people who make the show hate me. Uh, <laughs> um, fuck. I, again, I don't know what to say other than I, I want to see what happens next and I really want to hope it can push towards a happier resolution for everyone, if at all possible. This is, it seems very difficult for that to happen in general, let alone anytime soon. Um, oh, that last scene really hurt. It's because I love that fucking character so much. And again, I know that there's a lot of people out there who couldn't give less of a shit about Ichigo, and in fact, probably fucking hate her. Uh, especially, I'm sure this episode didn't help. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't help. Again, she was very uh, combative and aggressive and a little shitty in her delivery sometime, but... Oh, it just fucking breaks my heart about that character, because I... And that's the thing, is it's it's impossible to be a fucking win-win scenario in that case, because I desperately want to see Zero Two become... Even, even if she can't ultimately stop herself from being... Uh, monstrous. If the, the, the closer she can get to stability and hu humanity, I guess, or whatever, wh whatever can bring her happiness is what I want, because I fucking love that character too. But I know that that's at odds with the other thing that I really want, which is to see Ichigo happy, because I fucking love that character. I loved her since the minute I saw her on fucking screen, and that has not changed at all <laughs> since... Um, since that time, uh, even when she does have her moments of less than stellar behavior. But again, that's the same thing. As Zero Two has the same exact bullshit. Zero Two is a very dangerous, like, again, she fucked up everyone of the group because she fucking snapped. Um, like, she, and I, I don't, I don't blame her fully. Again, she got she got her fucking life destroyed by these people who or they made her or found her or whatever the case happened to be um they completely fucked her life up and she just has to kind of try and deal with that it's like it's again it's a, it's a no win fucking scenario and it really really sucks it's like, even the best possible outcome I can possibly imagine the show having is somehow Zero Two and Hero end up together. Whether it be she becomes human, he becomes monstrous, or they have to, they have to find that middle ground and work with what she has as she is and then tries to figure it out from there. And then I think the best possible thing for Ichigo that she could possibly get away with would be her ending up with Goro, which is a difficult fucking scenario. Um, 
especially with how we just left that off, because he totally saw that, and of course he's the nicest fucking human being on the goddamn planet, so he's like, yeah, you do it, girl, and you're like, dude, you're dying on the inside. What are you, Shannon? You don't get to be like, oh, I just want what's best for you. No, you you fucking hurt, and it's it's a problem, and it's, it's not good, and I hit the mic, and I'm sorry, but it's just, it's... It really is a no-win thing in my mind, and who knows, maybe that'll change by the end of it. Maybe it'll be just a completely depressing clusterfuck, and it'll end with literally nothing but sorrow and tears. Um, hopefully not. Please don't let that be how this ends. That's that's all I want. That's, that's, that's all I want is to not have that happen. If we can if we can stop that from happening, I think I will. This is 10 out of 10 show, from beginning to end. <laughs> Like it's just, it's 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 rough. It's really rough, and yeah, this this show is fucking amazing. Um, and again, I know it's gonna have its missteps, but I right now it is riding incredibly high, and um, yeah, it's it's absolutely become one of my favorites of all time. Um. Right up there with like Sakura So, A Little in the Sea, Spice and Wolf, Torador, shit like that. Um, yeah, I, I fucking love it and I love the characters and I really, really want to see them have as little pain as possible, but considering we still have half a show to go, I suspect that's not really going to be the case. Um, anyway, I, I think that's all I can really say. Um,. Yeah, I'm very curious to see where this goes from there. Um, God, I just want to smack the ever-loving shit out of that Alpha Nines guy, though. It's just he's even if he's not even a bad guy, he's just he's the guy. He just radiates pompousness at every possible opportunity, and I'm like, I just want to hit you in the face. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully the camera is working right, because uh, I know it fell over at one point. I think it fell over for like a couple seconds and I fixed it, but uh, hopefully it's it's all right. And hopefully it's not um, getting a bunch of, I just realized sitting on a on something to keep it uh, up a little bit. And hopefully it's not leaking into the bottom of the, the recording, because otherwise that would just be obnoxious. Um, not game breaking, video breaking, fuck, uh, but it would be annoying. Um, anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I continue to adore this show more than anything on the goddamn planet. Um, yeah, if you guys dug it as much as I did, if you guys like the video or anything like that, by all means, uh, tell me all about it in the comments down below. Like it if you like it. Uh, like, dislike it if you dislike it, but please only do it once, not like multiple times like a fucking douchebag. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, and... Subscribe and stick around if you want to see more. You want to see more of this man just being emotionally destroyed by this this triangle of fucking suck. Ah, <laughs> uh, I really, really liked that last scene because I got to see my girl get her some and have a have have a love e ness, but. More than that, I. I don't think there's any more to it than that, which makes me really sad. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Toodles, doodles, and lemons. Emotionally destroyed. Yay! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>